Right. So this is a blend. It's called Came. It has Tempranillo, which is its own varietal, grape, a Cabernet Sauvignon, a Syrah, and Petit Verdot. Almost evenly, 30%, 35%, 30%, and a little bit of Petit Verdot. Now, those are all individual wines on their own. You can have a bottle of Tempranillo, Cabernet, Syrah, not so much Petit Verdot, you get some blending grape. It's only 5%. Mm-hmm. But usually, it's, it's, um, usually in Europe, they like to do French. In France, they use Bordeaux blends. Spain likes doing blends. Australia does blends. We do blends here in the U.S. So this is a red, obviously. And so this is a Crianza. Means, it, again, this is it has laws. Mm-hmm. Crianza means it has six months an oak before it's eaten the bottle. Wow. Then you got the higher levels where it requires a 12 years, I mean 12 months, and then over three years, a reserva or a grand reserva. So mm-hmm. that they have rules. We don't even have those rules in the United States. We don't no, have rules like don't. that. So we're going to pour this here. Oh, it's out of the way here. All <laughs> right. Last over there. Yep. There. there we go. So again, you go through the same process with the red wine here. And right away, I'll see if you notice it. Of course I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> right away. Oh, you're learning. The bu- oh, bubbles? Is it bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> we could bring some next that time. Was yeah, seri- next time. <laughs> that was a serious question. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. I noticed so, that it was red this time. It's red. <laughs> so you know how... It's a cool question. Okay. Okay. You know, all wine grapes are white on the inside. Okay. They are. Cabernet, Petit Pidot, Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, and they get the color from the skin contact. Ah, okay. So like the Chardonnay here, it, it has, obviously it has a white skin and a white inside, but Pinot Noir is red on the outside but white on the inside. Mm. So it's, it's, that's the kind of a little trivia thing. That's how you make a rosé. That's another topic. So here we go. Fascinating. Okay, so again, so same process. We're swirling it. Okay. Now, I looked at it. first of all, you see how brown this is? It's not deep red. Like, yes. It's brownish okay. color, right? Yes, it is. So uh, the reason why is that red wines get lighter with age and okay. white wines get darker with age. So you can see right away when you get to a semi level, you can know you're guessing an age on this. This is this is well over six years old. Eat well, seven or eight. Or Just more. based on how Just dark it is. Just look at the color. See yeah, how, it has like that reddish brown yeah. ring so, okay. around the edge. Yeah, if you tilt it a little bit, you see how it's really light on the out of the ring there. If you tilt yes, it, yes, yeah. yes, okay. Yeah, that's a good yeah. indicator that's a good of indicator. age. It's cut age ring. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be the body of it will be dark, and then the, the yeah. outside will be light. It'll be right. more of it. And it'll get reddish. lighter and lighter and lighter. It's like a reddish brown. Okay. So the yeah. same process, swishing around. You don't see anything floating around in there. <laughs> okay, then we smell. Okay, I remember this part. There you go. It's got like a... What am I trying to say? It's definitely not like the last one in that... The last one I would call it light, and I would call this one heavy. But oh, yeah. that these you're are right. these are amateur terms. What? How no, would you, right. in a professional way... Well, this Describe. one here, the oh, Chardonnay, not too far off. I mean, doesn't have too much oak on it. If it had oh, a lot of oak on it, it would be heavy, as heavy as this. These grapes are pretty light as far as Spanish wines go. Okay. I mean, they could be like a. But you're also Barolo looking down. at when you're talking about terms like light and heavy. When you're considering how the the weight of the wine is in the glass. Right. Okay. I always tell people to think about milk. Like you have, you know, two percent. You have regular milk. You have one percent. So they all have a different feel, right? Mm -hmm. Some are lighter. Some are uh, the whole milk is going to be heavier. So when you when you swirl it, you you can feel like it's heavier in the glass, or or is it light? They call light in the body in the glass, or is it? Does it feel medium or heavy? Medium (coughs) to heavy in the glass. So you were not too far off when you no, said that. You're right. Um, and also, like we said before, the the older the wine gets, then you have different qualities too. So, well, cheers. Cheers to yeah. Kame. Is that what? Yeah. Yes. Yep. All right. Let's let's give this one a taste. I mean, it's good. I like it. 
Well, you're gonna get a bunch of stuff. This is a vent. It's like I got like like deep dark cherry, mm -hmm. like yeah, big tart cherry. Mm -hmm. It's definitely drier than mm -hmm. the, the last one was more of like a more almost pork. like a juice. Yeah, right. This yeah. one is definitely leaves your mouth a little dry. And that dryness you feel around your teeth. Okay. The, the, those are tannins. Yeah. Ooh, okay. And when you think of tannins, I always say to people, think about tea, the astringency right. in tea. Yes, okay. It's like that a tea dry bag. feeling. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. And you might be a camera can't pick this up. You see those little legs running here? A little, little thing swirling around. Mm -hmm. These little things, those are called legs. Yes. Yeah, you talked okay. about that I'm, earlier. Yeah, I'm vaguely familiar, but yes, I've, right. okay, explain. So that's directly proportionate to the sugar content on the wine. Ah, okay. Okay. The faster, the longer the legs. Like most men like long legs. Yeah. But you, these are, that's going to be, it's like going to be a higher alcohol wine. This is 14%. Yeah. Because of sugar. Sugar equates to alcohol. Any, any moonshiner would tell you that. Any, any beer maker would tell you that. Sugar equates to alcohol. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what have you guys got going on at Vino Las Vegas Wine Club oh. in the coming weeks, months? Well, right now, uh, I am holding painting and sip classes. And the sip, we do offer a glass of wine with the painting class. However, we do have other beverages available for purchase. And we also have bottles for purchase and other glasses of wine, if you so want more. Right. So being a former educator the last five parts of my five years of my career i was an art specialist for various schools and honed my teaching skills with many students <laughs> under the age of 11 so <laughs> right. i think i honed those skills pretty pretty well and uh when this opportunity came to open vino las vegas uh wine and yacht club uh part of it i wanted to do was do painting and wine classes. So we've I've done my first class a few weeks ago, and it was a success in our space, the Vino Las Vegas Wine Club. And I'm offering a second one on June 22nd uh, at 6 to 8 p.m. And you can sign up on VinoLasVegasWineClub.com. And it's, uh, I think it's a great pr price point. You get a glass of wine and the painting and instruction. It's a two hour class for $39. And we will be having a food component, which we're working out the pricing on right. that right now. But um, we'll offer like a charcuterie plate. Right. Wow. So, and that will be an addition. So uh, it was, uh, I had a full house last time. I hope I have a full house. It's a lot of fun. Every month I have a different painting that's posted on the website. So it's just a great night to come out and enjoy yourself with your friends. Uh, I think it's because I spent so many years teaching. I try to keep everybody really at ease. Like I can't tell you, this is about fun. I'm not going to, you know, you're not getting a grade. You're not getting a gold star. You're really here just to enjoy your own creativity. And, you know, whatever gets up on that canvas, it's about you. It's mm -hmm. not about comparing yourself to the neighbor, but really to come in to realize this is a social time. This right. is to have fun, to maybe learn more about yourself creatively if you've never really painted, and to lay aside those uh, misconceptions or ideas of, oh, I'm not an artist, I can't draw. I will guide you through it. If I could teach, you know, all these kids how to draw different things, I can definitely have honed those skills. I'll break it down. I'll make it really, really workable for you so that you'll you'll feel good about it and you'll have fun. And, you know, of course, there's great wine. That helps, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, of course. And I do teach a little bit about the wine also yeah. that we're drinking. And, and you guys also do uh, some wine tasting yes, events as we're well. Actually, yes. We're setting them up as we speak. They should be appearing. Mm -hmm. We have experts in the industry, um, um, meeting one on Friday, setting up to another one uh, last night. I'm mm -hmm. um, coming in, two or three wines. They're experts to bring in the wines and everything and tell you all about it. And the uh, whole cool thing is, is that we're going to have other types of events. You also... If you want to have your own private event, I mean, like sure, networking events for exactly. clients. Oh yeah, for like networking events for real estate people, it's perfect. But I, you know, it's your mind is whatever. Yeah. Um, 
you know, here are the Lakeside Suites, your network event, realtors, um, security guys, whatever. Sure. And in fact, we are also having, an, we in, That's right. so in yeah. addition to that, we are doing a networking event mm -hmm. uh, by hosted by the Vegas right. Chamber of Commerce, right. June 29th, 4.30 mm -hmm. to 6.30 p.m., happy hour time. The uh, club will be open. open it'll be yeah, open. it'll be open. Come yeah, on down. Come on uh, it's a great yeah. way, like you said, to, it brings people together. Wine is not a uh, by yourself activity. It should be <laughs> no. enjoyed Cherish. amongst yeah. friends in a good company. So, mm -hmm. with that in mind, uh, you guys have been amazing today. And oh. Thank you. You been are amazing. You. And, uh, amazing. I'm very, very Cheers. happy to share uh, episode one with you guys. Episode one. Cheers to that. Yay.